governor was there, the minister for the cabinet secretary for ICT, Joe Michel was there, and many others. Uh, my innovation happens to be in what you call the recycling or energy, e, e, e power. E, e is like echo, mm. meaning it has to do with green energy and stuff. Huh? So, which has attracted a lot of attention uh, from various quarters. So, in the selection, you, you could see there were so many innovators who had uh, good ideas, but mine happened to feature among the top 30 because of its uniqueness. You see, mm -hmm. like uh, we shall be discussing in a short while, we are recycling what would otherwise have been thrown into, into the trash and making very, very, very useful products mm -hmm. that can be used even to help the common man and grow the economy and even uh, in the long run create jobs. Eh? Right. So having uh, you know, managed the top 10 is a, a, a great deal for me because it has actually validated that indeed this is a project that is going places. Okay. Yeah. So we wait for uh, the event to see, you know, uh, whether you'll be in top 10 and we wish you the best, of course. Mm -hmm. So we want you to tell us about uh, this innovation, the EcoPower itself. How does it work? Thank you so much. Um, EcoPower, mm -hmm. it's a very broad name. Uh, it has got two names, Eco and Power. Eco meaning, like I've said, green and power meaning energy. Yeah? So on your... On that side, you can see some two cells. Let me just have a... Mm -hmm. These two cells. Mm -hmm. These are salvaged. Salvaged from uh, laptop batteries. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. They're usually salvaged. So when a laptop battery dies, in quotes, like it's not charging, it's not working, just all of a sudden it's not storing charges. Mm -hmm. So you find that most people end up, you know, discarding them. They end up in collectors of e-wastes, etc. So from my research, my background is, is in physics. Eh? We realize that in most cases, it's not the cells inside that uh, develop the fault. It's actually the charging system. Because mm -hmm. most people don't know, even know how to charge, properly charging the device. You find them, you know, they leave the device charging overnight, the laptop charging overnight. They, they are doing it while they are gaming at the same time. Mm -hmm. So they end up uh, overburdening the charging system. Eh? All right. So they at, uh, uh, in some instances, one of the cells can be damaged. But remember, there are five more, which are still good. Eh? So we have a machine that can test uh, the, the, the health of this cell, can tell us actually how long it can last, mm -hmm. because we, we, it has to go through what we call cycles. Eh? It's what we call the charging and discharge cycle. So we are able to, uh, with certainty, establish which cells are working. Then we are able to package them now in, uh, again, recycled uh, containers, uh, like what you, you see here. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a, a plastic container, you can just get it from anything. Eh? Mm -hmm. And then we are able to um, arrange this. Eh? Yeah. Th there's a whole science behind this. Eh? There's a way in engineering, uh, we, we, we have, uh, you know, I don't know whether the terminology would be too much <laughs> for this show. <laughs> we uh, have what's called uh, 3S, 2P, 16S, mm -hmm. depending on the usage. Yeah? Like uh, this can go as far as even powering a, a vehicle. All right. So depending on what uh, usage you want, mm -hmm. we arrange those cells. Like for example, yeah. This one is just meant to power a normal bulb, 12 volts, right? Uh, I have a bigger one here, the back. Mm -hmm. This one can even power a TV or a computer. So there are various, uh, what I would call voltage levels. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we package them such that we can, you know, uh, have each and every person, you know, catered for. You have, uh, in Kenya, we talk about the mamambogas. Yeah. So the, the roadside uh, vendors, huh? yeah. they mm -hmm. just want a portable light, they just uh, hang it by the roadside and then they, they can do their, their, their business. Huh? Mm -hmm. There are those people who want serious backup in their homes, like let's assume uh, lights go off, right? Then you want to continue watching your TV or you want to continue using your, your computer. Mm -hmm. This one can do the job. So we have, that is the big one, yes. the big device. Yes. So now is it, uh, I would ask, do you only use it as a backup or can you use it as the main source of, electric of, of power? So this can work both the ways, thank you for that question, because this can be charged using two uh, sources of power. So we have the mains, electricity, that's what we get, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have renewable sources like solar. Exactly. So in the event uh, that uh, somebody is off grid, mm -hmm. they can just plug this, hook this up to maybe a solar panel, mm -hmm. then it'll be charging on the go. Right. Actually, we have a project we want to start uh, produ manufacturing bikes that can charge on the go, because uh, we have so much solar on this side of Africa. So mm -hmm. almost, uh, I, I don't know how many days per year. So that is free energy that is being uh, untapped. So, right. so you want to venture into that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, uh, yeah, let me get you. You've said you used recycled batteries from laptops. Yes. And on the containers, they're also recycled. So yes. basically, everything is eco-friendly over here. Yes. All right. So how did you come up with this? What, you know, what strikes you to just 
go for eco and go for backup? So, you know, for me, intrinsically, I'm always uh, inclined to technology, to power, to lighting, to stuff, how stuff works. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where I live uh, in 2020, I think 2019, 2020, there happen to be so many power outages. Mm -hmm. There will be so many of them. Eh? And then, remember, I'm a teacher. I, I need sometimes to go through some, you know, reading and stuff. Now, imagine you don't have power for a whole day. The following day, you need to go to class. Or... Like, for example, in my case, I'm a physicist. How can a physics teacher be mm. in dark when everybody else is in dark? It's like, <laughs> you're not helping us. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So <laughs> uh -huh. I sat down, uh, I made a Facebook post. I need to get good batteries. Uh, I used to use uh, some traditional batteries. We call them uh, lead acid. Mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't store as much charge as I later uh, came to find that these do. So during that corona period, uh, remember for, for we teachers, mm -hmm. we had a whole almost uh, more than six months yeah. Yes, we were at home. We, 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 we never knew when it was Monday, Sunday, whatever day. Mm -hmm. Everybody was indoors. Eh? Now you have a, a physics teacher with so many ideas in an enclosed uh, place. So you can imagine how so you, you <laughs> can imagine how it would come out of that. So this is just part of what I did. I, we actually ended up doing so many things. I don't know whether I can mention. Mm, yes, you can. Yeah, mention I it together all. with a friend of mine called Anton, Anton Mobongo and uh, Engineer Beria, we made a very good prototype of a ventilator. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are among the first. Before the KU guys uh, had done it, we even presented before the Ministry of Industrialization and okay. KEBS. We were there. I also happened to make an automatic hand washing station. Mm -hmm. Just place your hands, you know, eject soap for you. And with a screen tells you what exactly you need to do at what time and then releases water automatic, then just switches off. Mm -hmm. automatic so i had so much time to do explore uh, many areas but then i set out for this because i saw so much potential in, in uh, this recycling, particular innovation this particular innovation mm -hmm. so that's how i ended up with uh, i started with i started small i actually didn't start with the big one mm -hmm. i just needed the uh, lighting at first so i started packaging in these small containers but then um, i thought why can't I, can't I also start powering my tv mm -hmm. then I, I i did my calculations what i needed and then i Assembled. And uh, here we and go. And here we go. All right. So there's also an, uh, an other, another aspect to it that, mm. uh, you know, something about automatic. It goes automatic, the lights on and off. Tell us about that. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I also didn't mention that I'm also a part-time uh, teacher of robotics and the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. So what that means, uh, with robotics, we have got sensors. Uh, there's so many sensors uh, th that we can integrate in any device. Eh? Mm -hmm. So like, for example, this light, I needed it to be smart. So this happens in two ways. Eh? Yeah. If I plug this bulb on the right-hand side, using a remote uh, controller, I can just switch it uh, on and off oh. using a remote controller. Just uh, from wherever you are, eh? just switch you on just and switch off. It. Wow. All right? Well, um. And then on this other side, if you want to, like right now, mm -hmm. it is off. Okay. Because it can sense that uh, there is light. But in the event uh, there is darkness, oh. wow. it will automatically go on. Uh -huh. So uh, this, this can apply pretty much to anybody who is, uh, like for example, you see in some cases, thieves break into homes because of darkness. Somebody maybe in the morning forgot to, uh, in the evening forgot to switch on light. And then when they left uh, and came back, maybe later in the night, they found a thief uh, had already broken into their home. Mm -hmm. But this one will never fail. Because as long as there is darkness, it, it automatically uh, switches on. Yeah, automatically switches itself on. Mm -hmm. And then I made an advancement to that. There is another one uh, back here. Mm -hmm. uh, this one even I introduced another sensor we call microwave sensor. It can sense motion. Okay. So in case somebody is uh, within the vicinity, eh, mm -hmm. it will just automatically switch on the, the, the light. Eh? And then if it doesn't sense motion, it will just go off. So, if, for example, if you remain still in this studio for like 30 seconds, it, it will just go, go off. <laughs> and then if somebody tries, you know, to pick a pin or to wake up or to whatever, it will again activate. So what does it aim to achieve with that? So again, all these are meant to, this lighting, just like I said, are smart. Like um, it can provide normal lighting, but also security because mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya we talk about mulikamuizi. So uh, this can be a mulikamuizi in essence. Uh -huh. If you were to store it uh, in, in a place, maybe you have a, an enterprise, a business, mm -hmm. and then uh, you don't have to, you know, it will help eventually in the conservation of power because it will only light 
when it has sensed motion. Mm -hmm. So all the, uh, the other time it will, it will be off. So you can see it can run for a very, very long time eh, okay. without wasting uh, energy and power. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, it can just be used for, 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 for teaching and, and, and fun. Because mm. uh, like um, nowadays uh, I also happen to engage learners in s STEM, that is science, uh, technology, engineering and uh, uh -huh. mathematics. Eh? So you see such projects when you take them for the engineering fairs. Uh, they, they are quite nice. Yeah, true, yeah. very mm, true. Mm. All right, uh, is there any other thing that uh, your innovation does apart from uh, the, the ones that you've mentioned? So basically, uh, if you have a look uh, behind here, mm. uh, like you can see here, I have this, this is known as an inverter. It's meant to, in con so this kind of power that we are getting off the battery itself is, is called DC. Mm -hmm. in scientific term but uh, some devices and some gadgets in require what you call AC. AC is like what we get f off the socket. Okay. So I just uh, I just bought this. Anybody can buy this. Very very uh, affordable. Once you switch off uh, like this let me switch off first so that uh, once you switch on mm -hmm. it's able to convert this power into AC. Then this AC mm -hmm. power now can be hooked up to an extension which now can power even bigger devices. Like I was mentioning a TV or a computer. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I tested this uh, last time, it went uh, close to more than seven hours. It never went off, my TV. Okay. Yeah, more than that, that actually 32 inch. Mm -hmm. And my TV, uh, my, my computer, the other day I tested, went for more than one hour. Mm -hmm. So you can see, it, uh, and uh, the indicator here shows that the power is, is full, 240 volts. Okay. So if I, for example, I don't know whether the light will be too much for the camera. Mm. If I try to switch off this, switch on this, you can see it's quite bright. bright. It's quite uh, bright. Yes. Eh? Oh. So again, you can also use this to charge your phone. Mm -hmm. So there's so much you can do. There, there are limitless uh, possibilities. Possibilities. Yes. And how would you say this is different from the, apart from, you know, its eco-friendliness, how is it different from the UPS, the uninterruptible power supply? Uh, that's a pretty good question because uh, I've also worked with, UP I also work with UPS. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, for the UPS, hot, when it gets damaged, in most cases, it's the battery. And we call those batteries uh, lead acid. That lead acid, if the viewer can bear me witness, doesn't go for more than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. New one, a new one. To just make those funny sounds. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> it will just die, you know, a natural death after the 15th minute. Eh? Uh -huh. But then this, I'm telling you, it went for an hour plus, And it never went off. Okay. Guaranteed. So this one, I can say is... Almost how many times? More than four times better than um, than the best. Than the be <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, yes. all right. So uh, it's eco-friendliness nature, and you're also uh, trying to get it to operate on electric bikes. You yes. have mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So why 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 have you chosen to go eco, and why do you think it's important for other innovators to go this route? Oh, what an amazing question! Uh, right now, there's a campaign globally yeah, mm -hmm. on uh, reversing uh, global warming. That is a very, very, very big thing going on right now because mm -hmm. of what we call the, 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 the GHCs, the greenhouse gases and, uh, and carbon. Like imagine Kenya, you have all those vehicles on the road and uh, they are all releasing the nitrogen oxide gas and the carbon dioxide and all those gases are ending mm -hmm. up in the, in the atmosphere. Now, what has been happening over the years, you've seen there has been drastic change in uh, weather patterns. Eh? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't know whether you have seen this, uh, it, it ought yeah. to have been raining you know, a few months ago for quite some time. Mm -hmm. But then you find that it just rains for two weeks and that's it. Yeah, the so those are the has changed. Yes, so those are the adverse effects of global warming. So there's a campaign and uh, it's being uh, pioneered by, you know, very big uh, tech, uh, you know, conglomerates. Uh, one is Tesla, mm -hmm. so by Elon Musk. Uh, he's yes. an American uh, originally from South Africa. He's doing uh, electric vehicles, uh, Tesla. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the reason why I want to go uh, green, green meaning we are using recycled and uh, renewable sources of energy, because mm -hmm. number one, we want to recycle, uh, to, to, to conserve, conserve the environment. That's a very, very big campaign going on right now. Mm -hmm. Number two, these kind of cells have got what we call high charge density. That means it can be small, but store much more power as compared to what we used to have. Okay. Number three, if you happen to dispose of these cells, let's say in the garbage and they end up in the trash and they are incinerated, this contains inside of it, as it is, it is completely harmless. It's harmless, mm -hmm. but the moment you burn it or you leave it in water streams and then uh, the, 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 the liquid seep in and then they seep out, uh, you'll end up releasing chemicals 
and gases. And some of the gases are dangerous because we are talking about lithium. It's a chemical so among the heavy metals. Eh? Mm -hmm. So by, by, by going green, by trying to recycle, we are actually in the long run not only helping conserve the environment, but also creating jobs. You know, we can only talk about positive things about e, mm -hmm. e power. And how can the government, uh, you know, create an enabling environment for innovators to adopt this uh, move? And that has been a big challenge. Uh, you know, when innovators come up, so they're not able to progress uh, after a certain period because of financial constraints. Eh? Mm -hmm. Like if you need to make this completely self-running, we need to set, to set up a small, you know, production or, a, you know, a factory somewhere mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, ensures that maybe some of these things uh, we, 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 we can locally make using even other materials. Eh? Yeah. So if you get like seed money, mm -hmm. seed money, that's number one, to just help you spruce up the process, to accelerate the process of, uh, you know, the production so that every time I want to, to improvise, I don't have to dig deep into my pocket. Like uh, for me to have come up with this without making any sale, mm -hmm. I, I had to dig deep. Because remember, it's like research. It's like you're doing, I can equate this to a PhD research. Yeah. You're <laughs> doing a PhD and uh, you're doing it all on your own, uh, you know, mm. uh, means. So if the government can just, uh, you know, pinpoint some of these clever innovations that in the long run, will let's, let's take this for example. If you were to convert all the border borders yeah. from what we are using to electricity, yeah. like mm -hmm. Rwanda is trying to do right now, Kigali, mm -hmm. how many jobs shall we create? Plenty. Plenty of jobs. Eh? Mm -hmm. All those uh, batteries lying idle, all those people will get, uh, you know, get cash out of that. Mm -hmm. So we shall create jobs it's so much. If the government, uh, you know, views uh, these innovations from that uh, perspective, I believe uh, as a country we shall, you know, closing on, uh, you know, Vision 2030 earlier than um, we originally thought. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And back to your, your, your innovation here. Yes. So are you already selling... Yes, uh, we, we have just started, uh, you know, selling pre-order mm -hmm. because we are in the final stage, stages of prototyping. So right now we are doing pre-order. We actually have finalized on the design. We are in the process of, uh, you know, uh, printing out the, the final the final designs and all that. But they have already gone through the first processes of uh, approval and all that. So they are good for the public consumption. Mm -hmm. So we are using the, 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 the required uh, materials. There's nothing here that, uh, you know, would pose any harm to the user. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 are, we are selling them. That's why you saw I was even able to showcase, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in broad daylight, uh, even uh, in Jaikwat and other places. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So let's take a short break and then we'll be back shortly to continue with this conversation as we get into the next one. See you on the other side. We are on Sport on Tech. This is Why in the Morning. Thank you for staying with us. We are looking at an innovation uh, called the Eco Power, invented by Paul Wawiri over here. Paul, carry yes. again. So tell us now. You've told us that you're already selling. Yes. So now, do you have a warranty for someone uh, who's buying? Yes. And this is a mal I do when I give a warranty. Tesla currently is giving a warranty of eight years. Sorry. Uh -huh. So to just repeat your question on whether I'm um, doing the warranty. I just want to take you back to what I mentioned about Tesla vehicles. Eh? Mm -hmm. So they give a warranty of eight years and they say that their cars can you know, go up to 15 years without replacing the, the, the batteries. Eh? Mm -hmm. Remember they use the same technology, the same cells. Actually they are not the manufacturer. They go for you know, sales from Sony. Like this one is made by Samsung, you can see. So. I can guarantee anybody who will be buying this that they will not come back to me uh, mm. with any fault for the next two years, mm -hmm. guaranteed. Because I've said this, nowadays we don't use the kind of charging uh, that laptops use. Mm -hmm. We use what we call BMSs, very intelligent okay. battery management systems. So I can guarantee them two years. Two years yes. guarantee. Yes. Okay. And how is the reception so far from the public? It's absolutely overwhelming. Like I've said, we, we are doing pre-orders. I'm actually uh, sometimes because of the nature of my you know full-time job, and uh, due to the fact that we are just starting, I'm unable to you know meet some of this fully because of the time uh, factor, time constraint. So this is the time I'm now uh, bringing in. Uh, I'm trying to work with universities currently, ZTEC, eh? mm -hmm. so which uh, of course happened to be you know incubated at the IZ. I was among the I was among the pioneers mm -hmm. incubators there. So we recruit some of those engineering students. We train them how to do this because they are also very interested. If you see my charts, 
oh, I saw you, I want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. I saw you in Kiambu Innovation Week, I want to be part of this. Then mm. we, 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 we bring, them, bring them on board. Mm -hmm. and that's actually what another friend of mine did, Anthony Movongo. So okay. we are heading that direction. So we are able to deliver. Okay, that's sure. a good thing that you're doing there, mm. uh, bringing up other innovators. Yes. And what does it take, maybe someone would ask, to be you know, creative, to be an innovator? Do you have to have a background in physics like you have or something? Mm -hmm. What do you need? What does it take? Uh, not exactly. Uh, being an innovator is innate, it's inborn, because uh, God gives everybody uh, you know, talent. So you find that not everybody can innovate. That's a for a fact. Somebody else can sing, somebody else can play a music instrument, somebody else can cook, can do blah, blah, blah. Mm. So if, for example, you see your kid uh, is, 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 is uh, damaging, you know, electronic gadgets, is uh, disassembling them, trying to see who, who is this uh, person speaking. Eh? Uh, there's don't something be, there. Yeah, don't, don't be too harsh on them. Probably they're the next uh, being a uh, big, uh, you know, Elon Musk mm -hmm. or Paul Waveru, that yes. for that matter. <laughs> so if... For example, somebody has this talent, they, you, you just see it because it cannot be covered. Just somebody maybe in a, in a class, when it's a physics practical, they're the first one to arrive, they're so interested, tech and stuff. So mm. if you see those green flags, and you know, talk about red flags. Uh, we have <laughs> green flags too. <laughs> so you just know that this kid is going places with innovation. Eh? Mm -hmm. So others see you just buy a new toy today and the following day they have disassembled. <laughs> you just wonder what is going on here. That is an innovator, upcoming innovator. All right. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm. So now, uh, in 10 years ago, did you see yourself here? So honestly speaking, uh, even though I knew I was wanted to do this, but I never thought I would do it this fast. Mm -hmm. I, I just came as a, through networking, through connection. You know, some of these things are, you know, uh, through networking. Mm -hmm. You just happen to encounter what you have been looking for for years. For all that time, I never knew that I could get these things. Uh -huh. in, uh, in, in, in large quantities. Now I come, uh, somebody tells me you can get this uh, in town. Then the whole wo a whole world opens up. I never thought okay. for a fact. All right. And yes. where do you see yourself in the next five years, maybe in the world of innovation? So let me tell you that this, in the next 10 years, mm. it will be to the, it's the next big thing. Because imagine, uh, 10 years ago, I think uh, 15 years ago you were analog. Now we are digital. Mm -hmm. Right now, most of the vehicles are using, uh, you know, uh, fuels. We, we call them uh, fuels, eh? the diesel, the, 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 the petrol, and the, and the likes. Mm -hmm. Ten years from now, pretty much everybody will be using electric vehicles. Right now, myself, I use an electric bike. Okay. Of which I have converted one of the batteries. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I'm imagining ten years from now, I'll be having so many customers in this line that I'll have now to partner with other people investors so that we can open probably one of the biggest mm -hmm. uh, factories in Kenya. Wow, yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Definitely, mm -hmm. and continue representing us, mm -hmm. Kenya, to the world. Yeah. All right, so tell us uh, your final word, maybe a word of encourage f encouragement for innovators coming mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. as you give you a shout out and tell us where we can find you on the social platforms. Uh, thank you, thank you much uh, for this uh, opportunity. Uh, for the upcoming innovators, I know the innovation journey sometimes it's hard. It's, let nobody lie to you that things are going to be rosy. Sometimes you can try one thing one time it fails, another thing it fails. Uh, like the guy who you know invented the bulb, the uh, simple electric bulb, tried 999 times before he could uh, you know master that. So as long as you have the passion, the zeal, and the determination, I believe, just keep pursuing your dreams. Pursue your dreams, and success will follow you. I want to shout out a few people. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to shout out to my colleagues. Uh, they have been real supportive. Uh, you know, and you know, you know, juggling between this and uh, teaching sometimes, uh, you know, can be something. Ca can be quite something. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out to them. Also, I want to shout out to two universities, uh, KU, because uh, again, I was uh, I was chosen there. I was selected to be under uh, CBIIC. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Chandari Business and Incubation Center, right at the gate. Eh? Right. Because of my other, uh, my other innovation, the Smart Automatic Hand Washing Station, mm -hmm. I also want to give a special thanks to ZTEC University. Because, like I've said, through the networking, like some of these things I get the networking through universities. They tell you how you can do this, how you can modify this. Then you get the networks. Eh? So ZTEC University, uh, again, uh, IZ, uh, I want to thank you so, so much, uh, even for the opportunity. They have really given us a chance to explore the innovation world. Eh? Even giving us a space. Imagine we are given a space to do innovation in a university where space is quite limited. Wow. Yeah.
Yeah. So, and um, everybody else who is watching, I have quite a number of uh, people watching right now and friends uh, who will watch later. So you can find uh, me on uh, Facebook, Paul Waweru. Uh, I'm not so much on Twitter. Uh, you know, in, with tech, uh, <laughs> sometimes we are not so much into. But the, the, yeah, the, the you know the the tech giant mm -hmm. Elon is big on Twitter. So he's <laughs> trying to buy Twitter, yes, because <laughs> he's seeing it as a, as an investment. Uh huh. Yes. But mostly, you find that uh, you want to be hands on on on, on stuff. Like uh, one time, we'll maybe have a chance to talk about great innovators like Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not on Twitter, but uh, I have a I have a handle, but I I'm not quite uh, active there. At Paul Oero, right. not very active, uh, but uh, uh, on YouTube you can find some of these innovations. MSS Television. I, I have a YouTube channel by the name MSS Television. MSS Television. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for coming on board and sharing with us uh, your knowledge on this and your innovation, basically. I'm, I'm honored. All right, so that has been Paul Raweru, the innovator of EcoPower, talking to us about this particular innovation. So we are going to take a short break, but we'll come back with music and lifestyle. So we want to listen to some of the great music that are there, uh, the fresh music that are there in the industry from the musicians and also have a small talk with them. Don't go too far. The question we're asking on social media, that is on Y254 channel, is Mnakumbuka Zilem Chongwano is a primary. Nigani ilikuwa favorite. Talk to us. The hashtag to use is Thursday Vibes. See you on the other side.